Hi everybody and welcome to my shop. My name is Frank. Let's look at the start codes I use for my Monoprice Select Mini printer. Why do I have this? It helps to prime the nozzle and get rid of leftovers from previous prints or oozing during preheating. I like this and a small skirt or brim on the models I print. It makes for a better finish on the first layer. Let me explain line by line what it does and you can use this code in about any slicer. So here is the start scripts. First line G21 sets matrix values so that we use matrix values in other commands. G90 is absolute positioning. So if we need to go to 0, 0, we can go to it directly. M92 sets the extruder also in absolute mode. So if you want from zero, you want eight millimeter, you ask for eight. And if you want eight more, you ask for 16, which is eight more than eight. G28 homes the printer. So it goes to the end stops. G92 E0 resets the extruder to zero so that we can go from there. And the line G0, Z5, E5, F500 move the head five millimeters up and extrude five millimeters of filament at a speed of 500 millimeter per minute. G0 X minus one Z0 sends the head to just outside of the print area. So minus one millimeters at height zero. So ready to print something. Then G1 Y60 E8 F500 sends the, the head position 60 in the Y axis while extruding three millimeters of filament. And G1 X0 move the head a little closer to the print area by one millimeter to the right. Then G1 Y10 E16 F500 500 extrudes some plastic while bringing back the head to the front and G1 E15 F 2500 does a small retract to stop the oozing of plastic and finally G92 E0 resets the extruder to zero so that we can start to print from there. Now let's see the whole sequence at once. So extruding some plastic then wiping the nozzle on the border for 60 millimeters. Moving to the right, moving back to the front, then a small retract and go print. Okay, you have a diagonal line. You could tune those scripts to do a, more of a retraction if you don't want that line on the bed, but I don't mind that line. I uh, usually use a, a skirt or a brim, so that's not a problem. And if, even then, it's not a problem. You can remove it easily. I prefer to be sure to have plastic coming out at the beginning of the first layer. And this is not a tutorial on G-Code. I will link to the descriptions of all of the G-Codes from the rep wrap page and also I'm going to include the cheat sheet for the g-code to help you along understand all of those commands and that's it for me guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up please comment and give me suggestions on subject or problems you want me to talk about subscribe to my channel push the little bell for notification of my new videos and see you in the next video ciao bye